What amazing fanfare. Am I right, folks? Hi. Welcome. Hope that everybody is doing well. Um, hope that you all had a good weekend this past weekend and that you got to do some fun stuff. Um, first and foremost, let me say I'm, I'm sorry real quick be, that I'm, uh, I'm a touch late. Um, I was actually trying to get um, everything put together with the, um, uh, what's it called, the little intro song. Because a few people have mentioned that it's been stupid and like weird and loopy. Um, so I was just messing around with that, trying to get it to work right. Um, but yeah. I'm fired from being late. I'm fired from a quote job that doesn't actually pay me. Oh no! Oh, woe is Danny! Oh no! Now, if it's from my real job, that's different and that's a problem. <laughs> um, but no, I, I hope that you guys had good weekends and, um, and a good Monday. Um, I'm, I'm a little banged up, both literally and metaphorically. Um, I was, um, I was actually making bread yesterday, of all things. It was, it was quite a lot of fun. Um, and I slashed my finger open, like, really, really badly. There, I got my, my band-aid. Um, but like, it was, it was really, really bad. It was bleeding quite profusely, and I covered much of the kitchen in blood <laughs> before I managed to, um, get it stopped and bandaged up and everything. So, yeah, it was, um, it was pretty insane. It was not fun. Not fun at all. I was gonna do something and I forgot what it was. Zoom, that's what. Uh, let's see here. I need to go to... Um, was it Angrela? I think it's Angrela. <laughs> I make upwards of $37 a year from the stream. Yeah, exactly. Woo! Look at all that money. So that means after three years, I'll be able to cash out my $100. Uh, no, it's not anger law. That's not what I want. I'm trying to get to the, the last place that I was, and for the life of me, I can't remember what it was. Uh, da, da, da. It's near the volcano. I remember that. But that's all I remember. Unfortunately, it's not saying much. Dunders, that's right. I'm at Angra Law, though. This isn't where I just was, though. No, like I'm. I'm trying to figure out where. Um, where I was in the game before this. So like right now I'm in the Fortress of Fear, right? But I need to, um, I wanna find the, the oh, Phenomena, that's what it was. Um, I wanted to find the most recent main town that I had been to so I can go shopping because I need stuff. That's what it is. Ah, oh, Rev, you been sick? That sucks. I'm sorry. That's the worst. This wasn't it either. Son of a biscuit. The problem is I basically want to be able to access the best equipment that I can get. And I'm and now I'm trying to remember uh, where that is. But yeah, I mean Pepto and Gatorade is the way to go. Um, on that note, I I was actually um I I stayed home today um to telecommute, uh, because my my girlfriend's kid was sick. Um. And unfortunately, my girlfriend had to go to work. So, yeah. Sneefulheim. That was close to Sneefulheim. Oh my god, this is bugging me so much. Pepto and Gatorade. That's... Uh, I <laughs> it hurts when I bend my finger. And uh, I can't cut anymore, unfortunately. Yeah. 
Ooh, got through the, the whole bottle. I, I was about to say, you're drinking the whole bottle of Pepto. That's pretty impressive. I mean, don't get me wrong, you know, I, I, don't, I don't judge a man for their taste. I'm one of those weird people who personally likes Pepto. I, I actually enjoy the flavor of it. I know a ton of people can't stand Pepto-Bismol, but I genuinely like it. I think it tastes really good. Hodo. This is the one! Hoto! Hooray-to! <laughs> Hooray-to! Let's go visit Toto in Hodo! Yes? No? Whatever, I'm funny. Okay. So now what I need to do is I basically... The, the problem is I'm fairly certain that right now I am facing down the barrel of the last area of the game. Since I'm doing that, I want to make sure that I have as good of equipment as I can get. Um, one of the issues is that I want to try to forge stuff too. I don't know if I'll be able to do that. I don't know if there's anything I can do, but we'll see. I probably like root beer because they taste the same. <laughs> I mean, I disagree. I, I, I like root beer, but I don't think in any way that it tastes at all like, um, oh my god, words, that it tastes at all like Pepto-Bismol. Like, I, I legitimately do not believe that at all. Uh, let's see here. What can we do here? Fire claws! <laughs> Guys, it's a red dragon rod. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, that is a knife. I don't need a knife. Eric could potentially use a knife. Let's see here. So I should get at least one of these for Henrik. Ugh. I should really see what I can forge first. I'm gonna run to a campsite. Now, Rev, is there any way to do forging like in a town? Or do you have to be at a campsite? Is that the only way to do it? Because it would be nice if I didn't have to go find a campsite and do it all. I just don't want medicine at dinner. This stream is brought to you by Pepto-Bismol. Yeah, see? You know, I gotta earn that $37 a year, yo. I mean, clearly I've been bought out by Big Pepto. <laughs> Obviously. Wait, what is this? What? Same story in your dream. Oh my god, <laughs> There's seemingly limited, but we always have enough. Yeah, that sounds like what it is. Alright, wait, are you trying to say I'm like Billy Mays? No! Don't lie! I am not like Billy Mays. I have integrity. I have so much integrity it hurts sometimes. So what I'm doing right now is I'm heading to a campsite so that I can try to forge stuff, essentially. Oh, you're describing your night. Yeah, that's rough, man. That's, I mean, fever dreams are something very special. I mean, I don't know what it is about them, but they always just scare the bejesus out of me. Yeah, it's, uh, it's never fun. I do not envy you that, Rev. Going through that is horrible. And I, and the thing is, to this day, I remember some of the trippy, weird fever dreams that I had even when I was a kid. Like a little kid. Um, and it's just, it's kind of surreal to think about. Pregnancy dreams. That, I can honestly say I've never experienced. I can 
I can definitely say I've never had a pregnancy dream. So, if anyone was curious, now you know. Uh, let's see. So, I can't make anything good, which really sucks. A great sword. Bane is the best one that I can make. God dang it. See, I need all this stuff and I don't have it. I, I have a feeling that he's referring to something that means you no longer have a child there, Merthwin. Just saying. Look at this. I, ah, I hate this. I, so I love the forging system in this game. I really do. I, I enjoy it. I think it's really cool. I think it's very well done. The problem that I have with it is it gets very frustrating because you need some very specific items that can be exceedingly difficult to come across. Great, I can make a warrior princess headdress or a goddess tiara. Go me. Can't make a warrior princess dress though. I thought that said a male pearl. I was very confused. Armor. See, look, this doesn't... Ah! It doesn't help me. <laughs> oh, put him tiny to bed. Okay, good night, tiny. Wait, post-game stuff? God dang it, there's post-game stuff, Rev? What? Ah, oh, son of a biscuit. <laughs> Why didn't anybody tell me that there's post-game stuff? <laughs> I don't want more post-game stuff. I mean, in a way, I guess it's kind of cool, but no. No. Did you tell me? I must have blocked it out. Yeah, I, I probably just blocked out the, the thing and was just like, no! This would be awesome to have, but I can't get it. This would be awesome to have as well, but I can't make it. Yeah, it looks like I'm I'm kind of screwed on this. Oh, you're happy where it ended? Yeah. So it's it's interesting you mentioned that because one of the things that I've been doing I've um, I've been playing uh, what's it called? Um, Monster Hunter, Monster Hunter World. Um, I play with Retro Zero sometimes still, and it's funny because that game ends like four times. It's really annoying. Because <laughs> it took me like 50 hours to get out of what's considered the easy stuff and like the tutorial area. And I'm just like, son of a... Like, why did it take so long? <laughs> but the funny thing is that that portion before the real game is considered to be um, the story. That is the full um, at least initial story and then the rest of it is just sort of like, okay, and now we're going and we're finding more stuff and doing more stuff, basically. It's just crazy. Alright, so... I definitely want to get a fire blade for Silvando. I would also wait. I would also like to purchase. Um, 
Okay, so I would like to get one of these knives for Eric. I'll figure out exactly where to put it later. And now we need armor. Yay, armor. Flame shield. So shields don't do me a whole lot of good right now. Definitely need one of these for my main. Oh, dang it! Okay, so... I'm gonna need like two of these. Ugh, it's very expensive. Ugh. Dang. Okay, I really need one of those. I also really need one of these. Or the Eric. To really equip it. And then... So now we gotta do some re equipping here. What did the Falcon thing do? Ew. Dang it. I like the fact that it can attack twice, but... Stupid sort of light. So worthless. Okay, cool. Right, let me sell some of this stuff. And yes, we're playing some inventory management. Don't worry, we're almost done.
so let me see if anybody can use that mail. I don't think anyone can. Sorry, I'm, I'm not paying attention to this the chat as much as I should be. Um, let's see, looking to pick it up for Switch. What does the game feel? So first off, hi Sushi, awesome name. Uh, does it feel too easy or do you need to put on Draconian? Oh, um, yeah, I, I agree with Rev on that Sushi. Um, so it's, it's a game that does a reasonable job, at least, of balancing out the um, the need to um, the need to go out and grind, and having um, having good challenges that you're capable of doing. Um, I've only had to really grind maybe two times throughout the entire play. Um, other than that, it's just like the occasional fights that I get into that just work well. Um, for me to do and fight, and it's totally fine. Um, so, yeah, you know, sort of is what it is. And like I said, for, from my perspective at least, I think it works really nicely. Um, and I, if you're a fan of the series and or a, a fan of the um, um, or a fan of JRPGs in general, it's definitely worth looking into. Um, it can be, it, it is very troped, so there's a lot of sort of samey samey stuff going on that you see in any given um, JRPG. Um, like the the generalized story is that you are playing as you know the group of adventurers and you're here to like help save the day and you are the big good guy who is trying to fight the big bad guy type of thing but it's it's fun um i put in dozens of hours into it um it's I, i've streamed basically the entire thing and yeah i mean it's it's good um, that said, I don't know how the Switch port is going to be. I imagine it would be totally fine because it's not exactly a draining game in terms of um, the capabilities. But yeah, it's fun times. Also, the death count is zero, Marathon. I was just sitting there doing inventory management. God, don't die doing inventory management. Well, I guess some people might. There are definitely some really difficult encounters, and so um, the the game does test you quite a bit. Um, just last time, last time I was playing this, um, I got into a big boss fight and had all sorts of major issues with it. Um, I came really close to dying on it. It was really bad, but I I just made it out by the skin of my teeth. And that's why I was over there doing um, inventory management. Upgrading all my gear was in part because of that last bad guy, basically. All right, so let me save real quick. I still wonder why this place is legitimately called the Fortress of Fear. It seems like a terrible idea. All right, but let's see how far we can get. I'm going to try to avoid fights as much as possible. We'll see how that goes. Oh, 
Oh shoot, I don't remember which one was first. I think this one was second. So as you can see, there's um, there's like some things that I've already done for this, um, and like I said, this should be the last major dungeon area before the big final boss fight. So I'm hoping that I'll be able to finish it up. I'm really curious about the post game, like the the end game stuff after everything is done. Seems like it could be interesting. Hey, Dios mio. No, don't shoot him. Slash him. Dang it. That is just so creepy. It reminds me of um, the... Oh, what's it called? The, the ghost of... Um, the ghost of Christmas yet to come. In the... In Christmas Carol, the George C. Scott version. So George C. Scott was the actor who played Scrooge in that version. Um, no, it was the Ghost of Christmas Present who did it. He had the big giant robe, and he does the thing where he opens it up, and he's got the two kids inside the robe. It's how the original story went, but it's just it's creepy. It's super creepy. But yeah, that's that's what immediately pops to mind when I think of when I see that. For better or worse. One thing I'll also mention, Sushi, is that um, one of the cool things about this game is the um, the skill progression. So hey, look at that. So if you've ever played um, Final Fantasy, specifically Final Fantasy, um, well. 3 slash 6 depending on if you're in the US then you'll recognize the character builder style where you have this sort of grid layout type thing um, they did this in I want to say it was Final Fantasy 10 and 10 2 it may have just been 10 2 but um, I believe 10 2 used the dress system that they had originally for some of the other Final Fantasies the older ones uh, but either way fun times Nastier knives. Oh, right, I need that. That's what I'm waiting for. So yeah, I, I, I like this progression system. It's kind of neat because you can focus on specific things but not be super focused. See, I remember I saw this last time I played but I decided to turn back and save because I didn't know what would happen. Get rid of all the evil crystals! Hooray! I did it, you guys. Oh, I didn't see that guy. Aww! Well, thanks, Marathon slash Tiny. I appreciate it. Oh, you're the right. One of the other fun little things about this is um, you, you'll see afterwards where you can actually ride some of the mounts that the bad guys have. It's kind of fun. But I'm not focused on that right now. Just trying to get through this as quickly as possible. Oh, that means I can get the thing. Yes. Use them right away. Nope, not swords. I don't know if that matters. Nasty or knives. Score! I, I really wanted that as soon as I saw it because it just sounded so helpful. And I honestly don't remember what I'm doing with this guy here. So, like, see, I use a great sword. But there's not much there. Not sure if I can actually use these. So part of the problem that you run into with this is some of the stuff you are re um, you can only use if you have like a one um, handed item, and others you can use with two handed or one handed. 
So see, this is what I mean. It's kind of cool. And I see now I can fall down here. Let me grab this. They just suck us. So see, you can get on the map. Very exciting. So essentially what I'm looking for right now are the ways to stop those big shield things that are going on. I remember this. Because I remember big slime. These guys are like worshipping a king slime thing. It's actually kind of adorable. And I remember going out here and there's like a balcony out here. Oh, maybe that's it. Maybe I have to fly up. That might be it. I might have to go up and sit down. Really, Manta Corpro. One of the nice things is that when you do that, um, when you attack them outside, then it actually hurts them here too. Good damage on that. Enemy, kill him. Uh, doesn't matter. That'll do it. Victory! So Eric, that uh, the dude with the knives, he's uh, he's actually insanely powerful. Uh, I've got a bunch of um, what's it called uh, a bunch of skills that I've unlocked with him that synergize to make him be able to do. Oh god, what is it? Some, somewhere around like 3,000 points of damage at once. Oh, well this is disappointing. So I can't do that. So what do I do? Oh wait, did I just go back the same direction I came from and not realize it? That's probably what it was. That sounds more like me. Yeah, that's what I did. I just went back the same direction instead of the new direction. There's a shiny in that corner. Ah, King Slimes! See, I told you, those dudes are basically worshiping big giant slime. Homeboy with a hula hoop over here. And to uh, to Sushi's point regarding the difficulty, it becomes a uh, a very double-edged sword with regard to the grinding. And why I've, I've mentioned it several times as I've played this game is that you can avoid fights because you can see the bad guys. The problem is because you can avoid fights, that means that you don't always get the XP that you might need, and that can be a huge problem. Hard-boiled exoskeleton? I love it. Hi, Larius. Those guys are made out of metal, so that they, they don't take as much damage. Here we go! Whee! And see, now I'm just, I'm genuinely curious about the game after the game. Oh, that's not creepy, the floating centaur thing or whatever. I still wonder about the contractors that built this stupid thing. It's literally called the Fortress of Fear, and I just don't feel like that would really inspire confidence for people to come in and build all your crazy shiznit. Bop. 
Ball Heap. You know what else is funny? Whenever I play this game, it always makes me want to play Fortune Street. The old, um, what's it called? Um, the old Wii game. Um, for anybody who's unfamiliar, it's a, uh, it's essentially an expanded out version of Monopoly. So in addition to purchasing properties, charging rent, doing all that kind of stuff, you're also able to buy stocks in specific regions of the game. And as you, as you buy stocks, they can go up and down, and so their rents go up and down, respectively. It's actually a really well done implementation uh, of like good, solid board game mechanics. It's a lot of fun. I really liked it. Crazy C for life! How you doing? Welcome. Great to have you. Which game did you get Platinum Trophy for? This one? Or do you mean Fortune Street? Because either way, I'm down, yo. I'm a fan of both. I don't remember trophies being a, a thing on the Wii. They probably were, and I just don't remember. Like, for me at least, I always associate uh, Platinum Trophies with the PS4. That's what I always think of. <laughs> Jerkulies. Huh, Honey, you mean Hunkulies. Anybody? Oh, yes! Mermaid Side Quest was... That was, a, that was special. That was awesome. Um, I loved how they did that. I, I, I loved after the big event, you come back as a fish. <laughs> it's just, it's so hilarious and it makes no sense. It's awesome. It's just the best. Oh man, I gotta keep doing this? Jeez. How many more levels of this do I have? Yeah, I didn't realize that there'd be so much grinding left for this game. Good lord. I probably shouldn't step on that, right? Oh, wait, I need that guy. Come on, little bro. So he'll allow me to step on the electrical stuff. Yeah, I thought that they, they did a really good job um, with, with that section. It was my favorite as well. Um, I, I think that it was... It was mostly I liked it because it was so different from the rest of the game. Um, not to mention so different from other um, RPGs of the style. Oh man, it was just, it, it was such a neat, neat, um, um, not distraction, but just unique thing to have happen. It was just so cool. I really loved it. I'm going to use my super move here. It won't kill any of them, but it'll make them all much more killable at minimum. Step guard spell. So, that's one of the things about me. Um, I... I've mentioned it in the streams before, but this is actually the very first um, Dragon Quest game that I played. Did they just straight up kill me? The fudge. Wow. That was mean. Oh, you best not kill me now. I feel like I should like swap people out here. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, I know several people who have played um, most, if not all, of the Dragon Quest games. I'm just personally not one of them, essentially. I look different today. Not sure how. But thanks, maybe? I don't know. Let's heal real quick. <laughs> Hooray for support characters! Oh, you need a step guard. Oh, that's why you need a step guard. Gotcha. Okay, that makes more sense. Good lord, that's a lot of bad guys. Wait, are they are they running an illegal casino out here? I don't see any treasure, and that's the only reason that I came over here. Dang it! Stupid little caped caperer. Maybe I brushed my hair. I, maybe. I always brush my hair, though. I showered earlier today, so that might have been it. Um, since I stayed home today, I, um, I showered in the, the morning instead of the evening. Of course it's a token taker. Why wouldn't it be? I wasn't expecting it to be an actual slot machine. We're in international waters. Wait, we are? Why are we in international waters now? Oh my god! Homeboy oh token taker over here needs to calm down, bro. I can do night watch because I don't know I, I don't know what this night's mandate thing is really annoying live in New England oh god yeah I we have had the worst heat wave here in the U.S. Um, over the last like week or so. The Midwest has been hit brutally, absolutely brutally. It's been over a hundred degrees in a lot of places. You need a shield for it. Well, son of a biscuit. But I want to use Henrik for greatsword stuff. Okay, see, this is annoying. Did all that work to try to see what's going on here. 
And it turns out that it's nothing. Not only nothing, it's worse than nothing. It's a bunch of stuff that wants to kill me. Wait, do they get zapped if they're over here? They do not! Ah! Um, I, I was curious if I can give Silvando the light thing. I can. That would have been cool. I got, like, the super special blade of bladiness that helps kill everything. Um, mostly the bad guy. And so, um, I was hoping that I could give it to my homeboy. But I can't. Only the main character can use it. Which is annoying because I'm not equipped um, to use swords with him. Florida's always hot. <laughs> yeah, it's. I mean, I know a lot of places are like that. I mean, the basically all through the South, it's always hot. You know, it's just a matter of, is it really hot, really really hot, or really hot plus. It's just... Aw, oh, son of a... <laughs> Rev! Why didn't you tell me that was gonna happen? <laughs> Ten hours post-game? Wow. Although knowing me, it'll probably be like 50 hours post-game. Not because I suck, but because I'm awesome. I'm too awesome for this game. Too awesome for this game. So awesome it pains me. That's really neat though, um, that, that there's so much extra content. Um, I'm gonna go this way. Land! Oh, God, yes. 100% agree. 100% agree, Crazy C. The, the hair is just stupid. Now, don't get me wrong. Like, we see the obvious influence in the character design, right? So, um, I think the entire Dragon Quest series, I know for sure this particular game, but it was made by, um, or the design was, um, done by the same people who do Dra uh, Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Z. And so, as soon as I saw that hair, the first thing that I thought was, oh, it's like Trunks' hair! But then I'm like, wait, we haven't been able to move past Trunk hair or Trunks' hair? It's been freaking... 30 years! <laughs> like, come on! Let's get something good here. And on top of that, it just feels lazy as far as the design is concerned. I don't know, maybe that's just me. But, yeah, I've, I, I fully am with you on that one. I do not like the design for the, the main character. It's just... It, it has, like, all of the tropes that ever troped a trope to make you trope the tropisms. It's just, ah, oh, it's painful to watch. Sometimes. It really is. This really reminds me of uh, Ganon's Castle, um, Ocarina of Time, at the very, very end when you're going down the, uh, oh, son of a... It did that on purpose. You think I can envenomate a statue? Okay, part eight was when it started. Good to know. See, I, I knew that they had done it for a good while. But, I mean, even if you look at the really early games, like the, the first ones that were coming out, then you still see a lot of... Um, a lot of sort of that level of design and um, the influence of the design, I should say. And I like it, don't get me wrong. Uh, again, I'm a, I'm a fan of 
um, Dragon Ball, the um, the series and all that. But yeah, I mean the for better or for worse, the influences abundantly clear. <laughs> Hit your butt. You fell down and disintegrated. Because that makes... Oh, that's probably a mimic. I'm gonna heal first. Woo! It's not. Gold bar? Well, look at Big Danny over here. Wait a minute, that's it? Okay, I was about to say, I must be missing something here. Ugh. Stupid hula hoop bros. I've gotta be close to the end, right? Oh, he's guarding a chest. Do I care enough? I do. I want treasure. Oh, Jerkulis. Makes me think of Hades. The uh, that that's the James Woods Hades from the um, cartoon. For anybody who remembers. Whatever it was hilarious and adorable, and it's amazing to this day. I watched it not too long ago. I really do find that it holds up well. I'm not gonna try and revive myself, I don't care. Oh, I'm just gonna kill this bro. Well, I broadcast post game. That I honestly don't know. Um, and I say that because I've never been um, particular about um, playing games after they're done. Um, the thing is, I mean, if it's fun, if it's different, then I very well may. Um, there have been a, a decent number of games where I've played well beyond the, um, the main quest, but at the same time, the majority of um, the times I play RPGs, especially Western RPGs, I'm one of the people who very stereotypically gets caught up doing optional side quests. And in this case, I did not do that. Um, I've been focusing almost entirely on the main quest in this one. So it just sort of depends on what's there. And we'll see. But I'm definitely not opposed to this. Oh yeah, no spoilers for sure. Yeah, we don't want any of that. For the moment, I'm more worried about if I'm going to be able to heal relatively soon, because this is kind of rough. Yeah, it's like, I, I'm, I'm all for doing post-game if it serves well the purpose of the, the main story or the main game. Um, so, or if it's, you know, like a, a really good, um, I mean, not even really good, but if it's a sensible continuation. So a perfect example that I can immediately think of is uh, Pokemon. And I believe it was gold and silver where after you completed the, um, the new area, you were able to go back to Kongto, the original region from, um, from Red and Blue. And when you did that, then you got to go back through, you got to fight all the old gym leaders again, do all of that kind of stuff. And it was cool. It was really awesome. I, I loved how they implemented it. And so that's why I said, if they do something like that again, then that would be cool. Post game's important. Yeah, so I'm. So the only reason I'm skeptical about it is because Rev, one of the other folks here, um, he beat the game a while ago and said that it's basically not worth it and it's just sort of meh. And it doesn't really serve much purpose. 
And so I'm like, I don't like the look of this dragon. Great dragon! Oh, that's fun. Northwind, take care. I'll see you around. Great having you as always. I might have to swap in for a support character here. My friends roll. <laughs> um, no spoilers, though. I, I do want to. I mean, if if I learn about it, then I'll, I'll I'll learn about it and I'll be spoiled then. So here's the fun thing with Eric. So Dragon is poisoned. He has this attack called Victimizer, which does six times the damage. I also have Divide on, which triples damage, and I have a bonus to attack as well. So this is the thing that does big damage. I can't always get that set up, but when I when I get it set up, then it's pretty awesome, and it works nicely. I'm sure that plenty of people have figured that out well before I did, but I just found it out because I, I like using Eric, and I saw that thing that he gets. Plus, he's got multi-attack and all this other stuff as well, so... Fits in very nicely. Oh, shoot. Oh, dang it. I am not ready for this. This is like, this is a big bad guy. This is not going to end well for Danny. Shoot. And I'm, I'm already over time. We'll see what happens. Because you may just... Okay, perfect. I was really scared because that's the same character model as one of the big, big bosses. And so it was seriously freaking me out. Unfortunately, I do need to get going, though. That's awesome. <laughs> that is true, you do have Platinum. I doubt that Rev has Platinum. I mean, he can't have Platinum. Didn't do post-game. Finish this. I'm using all of my MP to use this stupid giant attack. Oh my god! Yellow. Oh, man.
No, again, my, I, I don't know anything about post-game, and that's the whole point, is I, I really don't want to. I don't want to know any of the stuff that happens. I prefer it that way, personally. I'll probably play the, uh, I'll, I'll, more than likely I'll play the post game, if it's even just by myself, um, just to try it out, for, for no other reason than that, to see how I like it. Because I genuinely do enjoy this, um, the, like, what I'm seeing in the, in the main game, so... I don't see why I wouldn't like the rest of it, basically. Oh, come on! I really need Rab to go. I put him to sleep. Well, see, now you've spoiled what happens, and that kind of sucks. It's, I mean, I, I was, I was looking forward to seeing what happened, but assuming it's the person I think it is that you're talking about, I'm okay with that, and that's not something that particularly appeals to me. Assuming it's the one I'm thinking. Of that you're referring to. Alright, that should do it. God, finally. Jeez, that was rough. Alright, let's swap out. I'm, I'm very, very curious to see how it happens, don't get me wrong, and I think it's a very cool thing to do. I just don't know how much it matters to me in my head, personally. There, see. There we go. Lights where it ends. Oh, yay, there's no more levels. Okay, so unfortunately, I'm just kind of hop on this bro and GTFO. <laughs> Not important. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, we'll see. But as soon as I get this guy down, I, I need to fly down and get my game saved here. I had to do that stupid giant fight. Stupid giant fight. Ready, set, fly! Whee! Sink faster! This is the exit, right? Well, the exit to the end. So, I'm not one who really cares about achievements in games. Um, uh, I, I'm not one who's really about doing the 100% thing. The modern 100% thing. So I will tell you, I went through and I got 100% on Spyro Reignited. So I did all three games and I did the 100, 110%, 112%, whatever it was, um, for all three. But I didn't go for the Platinum Trophy. 
because that is just too much for me. And I don't care enough about it to sit there and just go through all that. Um, same thing for like Steam achievements. A lot of times it's stuff that I don't really care about and you know it's really specific situations with specific people or bad guys or whatever and I'm just like, nah. It's not something that's for me personally. Um, but yeah, that's, yeah. Dang, dude, that's, that's impressive though, crazy. That's 56 platinum trophies, that's amazing. Congratulations, like seriously. That's really um, quite an accomplishment. I'm, again, for me, it's just not the way I, I like to play games. It's not something I'm um, inclined to do. But that said, I've got to get going because I got to get to work. Uh, it's it's my time for for this. But thank you guys so very much for stopping by. Uh, we got new people. So sushi, thank you so much for stopping. And of course, crazy seat for life. Keep getting those platinum trophies, man. Um, and hopefully next week we'll be able to finish the game. I don't know though, <laughs> but we'll see. Either way, take care. Have a great week, you guys. Um, I'll see you all on Saturday. So have fun and bye-bye.